Hi everyone, welcome back to Interview Chronicles Season 4. Today we are in the 34th episode of this series and we have Anushka here with us who has been recently placed at Optum as a part of her campus placements at VIT. She is here to share her interview experience with us but before we talk to her, let's look at the eligibility criteria given for this company. So all the students belonging to computer science and circuit related branches were eligible provided they had a 60% or a 6 CGPA in their 10th, 12th and a 70% or a 7 CGPA in their pursuing degree with no standing arrears. Now let's go ahead and talk to Anushka and understand her, her experience interviewing for this company. Firstly, welcome to my channel and congratulations on your placement. Hi, thank you so much. So would you like to start by introducing yourself? Sure. So hi, my name is Anushka Garg and I'm currently a fourth year student at VIT Valor. The branch that I'm studying in is CSE with specialization in blockchain. Okay. And uh, I have a CTP of maybe 9.2. Okay. Okay, that's great. Thank you so much. Uh, you can now tell us about the placement process, like how many rounds were there and what they comprised of. Okay. So when Optum came, it actually made its rounds eligible for everyone, okay. but mostly 800 people were shortlisted okay. and they were all of very high CGPA. Maybe okay. the cut was around nine or plus. Hmm. And uh, then it was an online test hmm. that they allowed us to give, which was around 50 questions, mostly aptitude and technical, okay. MCQs, okay. Java output questions, etc. Hmm. but hmm. one coding question, okay. uh, which was fairly easy. It, uh, the brute force solution was working in that case. Okay. And uh, when it comes to the interview rounds, there were two interview rounds. They actually did the HR round before the oh, okay. technical round. Okay. So actually they've done that for a couple of years now. So okay. that's the usual process for it. Hmm. So in the HR round, uh, maybe 80 students got selected from the test. Okay. And um, they had a very small HR round. I think it was just to test communication skills. Hmm. I had a 10 minute interview, hmm. which was a uh, two standard questions that they asked everyone in my panel. Okay. One was uh, about the biggest challenge that I faced and how I dealt with it, hmm. et cetera, et cetera. And then they talked about relocation details. Okay. Uh, so when I got selected for this round, I got a personal email. So they didn't announce it otherwise. And uh, I got an email the day before my interview. So it was staggered. So I could get an email at any point. Okay. So when I got my email, they uh, scheduled my interview for the next day. and. Hmm. and even in my technical round, I would say it was not very technical heavy because it was very resume focused. Okay. So I had prepared like a good 15 minute explanation of my resume hmm. and that was majorly what we covered. Hmm. Then we had a normal brainstorming session where he was asking me certain situations, very HRE, but I had technical answers for it because it was a technical round. Okay. And uh, then eventually he asked me two technical questions, which were just SQL queries hmm. of a mid level. It was not very high or not very low. Hmm. And uh, actually, the kids that didn't get selected didn't get asked technical questions. So okay. that was something that was different about my interview. Hmm. Hmm. So uh, after that, they released the list for it. That was pretty much the entire process. Oh, okay. Okay. That's great. Thank you so much for sharing your experience. And do you have any suggestions for your juniors or anything that you learned from your experience that you'd like to share? Yes. Okay. So I think one of the major things here in this particular process was a good HR impression to make because if you don't have well prepared answers and you don't sound intelligent enough or confident enough mm, about mm, what you're saying, mm. it would definitely be something that gets right. cut from these rounds. Right. And uh, especially in my case, when I was having my technical round, I made sure that even when the interview was explaining something to me, I was not blank about it. I okay. made sure to chip in hmm. and make it an interactive session hmm. Hmm. so hmm. that it looked like I was contributing more. Right. So that yeah. I think was very important. Obviously, DSA, computer core subjects are there. Hmm. But that is something you can learn and conquer easily because once you have the knowledge for it, it's hmm. easier to sound confident. Hmm. But you have to present yourself really well. Otherwise... Hmm interviewers are not likely to pick you right right that i think is very important and something a lot of juniors might neglect so mm. i also had a lot of trouble with my interviews in the beginning okay so after going through a few standard questions it helped a lot okay 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 that's great thank you so much for sharing your experience and for all your suggestions thank you. i'm yes. sure it's gonna help. thank you so much for having me thank you yeah Thank you all for watching. Please do like, share and subscribe and let me know which company you would like next.